Hey what's up David here with After Video Fix and welcome back to another video tutorial. And happy new year people, we are officially in 2019 which means more tutorials and more techniques. So today we're going to be creating this Doctor Who scan effect using season 11 episode 8. And due to copyrights I'm just going to leave the episode name and time frame for where this effect was used so it will be in the description below. So let's take a look at what we're going to be creating. Okay, so there's two versions of this. Um, I'm gonna be explaining both on how we, how I made both of the versions, and I'm gonna be um, explaining some of the problems that I ran into. So let's get into it. So let's make a new comp, uh, 1920 by 1080, 30 frames. Okay, and we'll drag our image into the comp and hit S. Uh, scale it down to 48% and what we're going to do is pre-compose this so right click pre-compose and we'll call this uh, uh, image and hit ok and we're just going to name our comp uh, scan roto ok alright next thing we have to do grab the pen tool and just draw a mask around our tree so try to be detailed as possible but um it doesn't really matter if you can't get all the detail just try to get as much detail as you can so this is going to take a while so i'm just going to speed up this process so i'll be back Okay, so once the roto is done, now we can add our effects to it. Uh, before we do that, actually, uh, let's just feather this out maybe about 10 pixels. And we get nice soft edges. So let's add uh, stylized find edges. Okay, I'm just going to switch this to the quarter res just make a fast rendering process we're going to invert it and we're going to blend it with with the original 15 percent okay that's going to make a huge difference so please do that uh we're going to add a tritone and we're going to make it uh green and that's the scan and we want to make this um Mid tones a little bit of a bluish color because when we do our color correction it's going to be a little bit blue so we're going to do that and we're going to make this black okay um we'll make this well no we're going to make this color um a, a very dark blue okay maybe just brighten up a bit okay Next thing we have to do is add our curves adjustment and maybe just darken this a little bit. Give it a little bit of contrast and then a glow. Go stylize glow. And we're going to just drop this down to maybe 0.2 and let this be 6. I'm going to make it tight. And finally, we're going to add a levels effect. So, color question levels, levels, ugh. And we're going to make, uh, crush some of the whites. So, just bring that down a little bit. Okay. So, that's our rotoscoped tree. Okay, so now we have to take a new comp okay and we're just going to drag our footage back into this comp scale it down to about 40 percent like we did in our previous okay and then we're going to go scan roto drop this on uh, to our comp okay so there is our roto we're just going to shut the eye off for now 
and we're just gonna make a new adjustment layer uh, bring this in between our roto and scan our roto and image I'm gonna call this color correction let's add some color correction maybe a tint and curves maybe chop that down to maybe 20% and let's bring that down and crush all the uh, white and just just give this a little bit of darkness and maybe take some red out add some blue okay so once that's done now we can uh, turn on our roto and it's looking pretty wild which is a good thing by the way okay so we're gonna grab this uh, maybe rounded rectangle tool I'm just gonna draw a mask on top a little bit smaller than the width of the uh, tree so maybe about there and hit F and we want to feather up quite a lot maybe about 50 and you can start adjusting these points and until you're happy with it so maybe just bring that there just just make it smaller than uh, the hey, the tree itself okay and maybe we can add like a curves adjustment to this and just brighten this up and maybe we can add a glow effect uh, stylized glow well that's looking pretty cool uh, maybe 0.6 and bring the radius down we'll make it tight inside okay so once that's done um, we can start animating this mask so hit mm and that'll bring all the mask properties just bring this up just to make it clearer and hit the stopwatch and then just scrub through in time and then just double click the mask and just animate it going down so maybe once it gets down here we can just start adjusting these points so yeah it's a little bit of a process but um it's it'll be alright it's not too bad so just adjust these points and I'm just gonna do this quickly so I'll be back Alright, so let's look at our preview. Very cool indeed. It's going a little too fast, but uh, I'm just gonna slow it down. You guys can just choose your uh, the tempo. So that's the scan effect um, for the first version. Now the second effect is a really simple one. So if we just uh, shut our scan off and go in here and go to stylize glow and if we just uh, maybe turn down this a little bit and we're going to change this to A and B colors and we're going to make this white more like a green ish color and you can see what 
what we're trying to get. So this threshold is the key to this effect. So I'm just gonna bring this all the way down. I uh, hit the stopwatch, scrub through in time, and turn it up to 100%. And that's pretty much how you do the second version. All right, so let's take a look. Very cool indeed. I think the scan effect is more on the gaming side. Um, you can use it. For, I can use the scan roto for gaming as well. I think th any scan effect is best with games, honestly. All right, so one more thing I want to touch on before we uh, end here. Um, I just want to do a quick uh, rundown of some of the problems I went through and for why we had to do this method specifically rather than some other ways. Um, so I've got adjustment layer here and I've got the same effects that we used applied on our scan roto and it's not looking as great as our as the one we created because this color correction is doing majority of the damage. See, even a solid com composite doesn't even work, so it doesn't do anything, so that's kind of useless. And yeah, it's just like, it's not looking as glowy or like bright as a scan would actually look like. And when I masked it out and feathered it, like maybe 40 pixels, uh, you can see this harsh black edge on the side and yeah it's just not the it's not it's just doesn't look great so that was a, a major problem I went through it took me a, a little longer than expected to figure out a solution but um anyway uh, yeah just got to think outside the box a little bit um, so that's the problem I went through Alright guys, so that's the end of the tutorial. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for the support throughout 2018. I promise I will be doing more tutorials throughout the year. My name is David. I hope you learned interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations. And as always, please give a like if you like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And comment down below if you have any questions. Until next time, I will see you in the next video.